Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel. Today I'm doing paid review 22 QB36. This is for Salundus. 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 And before we start this paid review, a quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Rolex. Rolex. Rolex Sky Dweller. The Sky Dweller. The Sky Dweller. Okie dokie. Here we go. Now, he sent me a whole stack of pictures, and I said, Hey, 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 send me send me a list of what you got, because, hey, man, I can't work this out. Very hard to interpret, so I got a list back from him. So let's go through this. Of course, Arts, my first watch in my collection was a gift from an aunt. It's a Borman Mercer Riviera. This watch I used every day since... I was 15 until I was 21. So he's got a Borman Mercer Riviera reference 65541. On that same year I turned 15, 2008, I got a Rolex date, Submariner date, 16610 from my dad. This up to today is my favorite watch in the collection and it has sentimental value because of this. I use this watch for almost every trip for many years as it's as it was my only high-end watch now I got to tell you if your dad gave you a vintage Submariner be careful taking in water you want to get the seals checked get it pressure tested go to an independent watchmaker get it pressure tested not some battery jockey at a shopping center I mean a proper watchmaker you want to make sure the seals are uh, okay before you take it anywhere near water Number three, we've got a Rolex, gold Rolex date just from the 50s, reference 6605. This was gifted from my grandfather many years ago, but was recent, just recently after he passed away, my dad gave it to me once I was old enough to use it. Whew, what an amazing story. Man, you must have connected parents and grandparents. Jeez, that's, that's pretty amazing. Number four is a Breitling Navi Timer 1, B01 Chronograph 46. Blue dial with brown leather strap, which was the first luxury watch I bought myself, and I love it. I bought it with the first dividends from my business. Jesus Christ, you're a trust fund, baby. No worries. Congratulations. Then we've got number five, a Hublot Classic Fusion Blue Chronograph. This watch I got for my 21st from my sister holy shit how rich is this family my god you guys have moolah 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 the moolah uh, also is the one i used the day of my wedding holy shit he's he's married then we've got a tudor number six a tudor heritage black bay bronze this watch i bought when i went to get my who Nubla serviced, and this is when I started to pursue being a watch. So what's he saying? Nubla. What's he mean? Hublo? Who? I, I, I don't know what he's. I don't know exactly what he's. He's saying there, but um. Okey, dokey. That's um. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That's. That's just how it goes there that's just how it goes so yeah fair enough fair enough indeed there um let's have a look here so he's then got a cartier round solo this was one of the most sentimental watches as i got it from my wife celebrating our engagement and it has gas the date of the, the date engraved on its back okie dokie We've got a Panerai Blue uh, Pam 01085. My jeweler got this and instantly called me as he knows I'm a big Pam fan. This watch probably one of the most versatile watches I have with the rubber strap. It's a great sports watch. Uh, number nine, we've got an Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch. No need, no intro needed and needed to be in my collection. Number 10, we've got a Zenith El Primera Chronomaster Open Face. The Open Face is what got me uh, into the hobby, and I learned about the history behind Zenith. Had to have it. 
I'm not quite sure, you know, this is getting a little bit, he's got had to have it. I kind of uh, think you've got to be a little bit careful here because the big danger is uh, had to have it. Well, why did you have to have it? I I was the open heart as well. Okay, that's, 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 that is a cool watch. Um, we've got a Pam 438. Two Tornero Lumina 1950 GMT. Okie dokie. A real eye catcher and being full ceramic to wear this watch is amazing. Then we've got a Roman, Roman Jerome Moon Dust DNA. Not a big fan. It was payment on a debt, but that story, but the story of it is cool. Yes. And 13, my latest purchase was a Datejust 41. Fluted bezel, brown dial. This watch is special because I bought it to celebrate the birth of my son. Also because I bought it at retail during the Rolex shortage. One, two, six, three, three, zero. Okie dokie. So this is, this is the story of his collection. So he obviously, he wants me to tell him what do I think. What do I think indeed. So... So let's let's go through this list here. So, firstly, there's the Baum and Mercia, Baum and Mercia. So, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Baum and Mercia, but I got to tell you, it's a very modern, funky style watch. It was a gift from your aunt. How could you not love that? You know, that's kind of cool. So I would say, yes, <laughs> a gift from an aunt. Bowman Mercy is still a decent, you know, it's kind of an entry-level luxury. I wouldn't necessarily add any more, but, yeah, that's a cool thing to have as a kid. The Submariner from your dad, the 16610, 100% tick that. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch. Now... These pictures, I don't know where you pinch these pictures from, but I'm just concerned they are your pictures or your, I don't know. But then we've got the gold. You've got the, this is actually quite interesting. It's an 18 carat date just with the presidential band on it. Okay, I'm not sure if that's correct band for that, but... It could well be, but it's still a it's still a great it's a nice watch. Any watch that you inherit, that's a that's a great story to it. You might just check on that bracelet. Is it original? If it's not original, I'd put it on a leather strap. Find out is the bracelet a genuine Rolex bracelet or not. If it's if it's if it's the real bracelet, I don't know, I'm just when did they bring out the when did they bring it? I'm just trying to... But look, <laughs> let's not even go there at the moment. I'd do a bit of research on the bracelet. Uh, keep it. And I I think that watch actually also is nice on a leather strap. The Breitling, beautiful. Nothing wrong with the Breitling, particularly with the B01 movement. The Hublot, uh, I'm not a big Hublot fan, okay? I'm not a big Hublot fan at all, no. The Hublot is it for me? Uh, no, that's that's not really my cup of tea. There, um, you you like it? Um, <coughs> look, the Hublot itself. Um, well, I mean, look, it was given to you. Uh, you, you, you know, something that's free is pretty cool, isn't it? A free watch is always cool. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. The Tudor, I like, the bronze Tudor you've got, that's a beautiful watch. The Cartier, I like, that's, that's a nice Cartier. <laughs> the round solo, is, I, I like it, it's very, very classic. And the Panerai Blue 44 mil, I like it actually, I like it. I'm not sure of the waterproofing on that model, what is the... The waterproofing. I <coughs> I actually love the blue, but I, I'm not sure. What's the waterproofing on that? That's 
That's a that's a good question there. Pam, let me just double check that. Pam 1085. Just check this out. Uh, <coughs> um Lumina Blue <coughs> Blue. I, 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 I love I do, I must admit, I do it's forty-four mils. Just having a look here. What's the? I just want to know the the waterproofing. No, it doesn't tell you shit. Pam makes this so difficult. What's the specs on this thing here? So, does it tell me the specs? Discover more. I just want to check the waterproofing on this. What's the what's the specs on it? Jesus Christ, the Pam website's practically hopeless. Uh, I'll just search this waterproofing. Let's have a look. Hundred meters. Uh, okay, hundred meters is okay. Hundred meters is okay. Um, hundred meters is okay. I I don't mind that. Uh, the Rolex President bracelet came out in fifty six. Maybe it is the right bracelet for it. Maybe it is the right bracelet. Okay, so I just want to just double check that. 56 it came out. Okay. Um, the Omega Speedmaster Moon Watch. Yeah, that's a great watch. ZF El Primero Open Heart. Yeah, I, actually that is beautiful, beautiful. The Pam 438. Uh, the 438, what, what's, which one is this you've got here? Let's have a look. Just having a look. Oh, that's, yeah, I'm not a big fan. <coughs> Sorry. I'm not a big fan of ceramic watches. I'm always worried with them that they can get hairline cracks. I've always been a bit paranoid about that. Um, yeah. The Roman German Moon. I don't even, you know, this is a brand. What the hell is this thing? I mean, when you send me these, um, these reviews here, normally you're supposed to take the absolute shit out. Okay, that's what you're supposed to. That's what you're supposed to. It's the Roman Jerome Moon Dust Watch. Okay, how much is this bloody thing? Let's have a look. I'm, you know, I just kind of... <sighs> Moon dust watch. How much is this thing? Shit, they're not... They're not... You know what? I'd, um... I'd try and get rid of the bloody thing. I don't think it's... Uh... It's just a shit brand, really. It's nothing. And then you've got the date just. Okie dokie. So what would I do? What do I think of your collection? You've got a you've got a range of stuff. I'd probably piss the hublo off. Get rid of that. The Roman Jerome Jerome. I'd piss that off. I'd sell it. If it was a debt, it's not like family gave it to you. The hublo. Oh, his sister gave it to him. Shit. Okay, I'd keep the hublo. Keep it. Okay, it was a gift from his sister. Keep it. But I would be, personally, I would be selling that Roman Jerome. Get out of it. Just get out of it. And also the ceramic Pam I'd be pissing off. What I would be doing is sticking to fundamentals. Rolex. 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 I think for you... My advice to you would be add more Rolex. You want to add, I'd probably add an Explorer 2. Steel Sports is what you want to add. 
Um, no more Bormann Mercia. That was a great gift. No more. No more. No more of those. Okay, that's what I would do with that. The sub from your dad. You know what? That's a beautiful watch to have. I would look after it. Get it. Um, you want to find a good independent watchmaker for that one. The gold Rolex. The gold 6605. The date just. Um... You'd want to check whether that bracelet is correct or not. What is it? Is it an original one? Is it, you know, I wouldn't get rid of it or sell it, but I would, if it's not the correct bracelet, I'd be putting it on a leather strap because it just looks off having that sort of watch on a gold bracelet that it didn't come with. The Breitling is cool. The Hublot I'd be keeping as a gift from your sister. The Tudor Bronze, that's very cool. The Cartier is cool. The Panerai Blue is cool. The Speedy is cool. The Zenith is very cool. Uh, and the Datejust is cool. The only two toxic watches, the Roman Jerome Moondust, I'd be getting rid of that. And also the, um, the cer Ceramic Pam, I'd be pissing that off. And I would try and get classic, classic, Classic. I just add Rolex. Don't buy garbage. Don't buy garbage or filler just for the sake of it. You, you've got enough watches now. You only add Rolex. Add Rolex. Just add Rolex. That's what I would do. I wouldn't add anything else besides Rolex. No more garbage. You've got enough watches there. Get rid of those two I've mentioned. And I would be saying to you, no more uh, rubbish. Just buy Rolex. When you buy Rolex, I would be adding Rolex Steel Sports, okay? Rolex Steel Sports is where I would be going. Rolex Steel Sports. That's where I'd be going Rolex Steel Sports. That's what I'd be adding. I would be... That's what I'd want to add there. I don't want to add garbage. And you've got a bit of garbage. The danger is you've got these relatives who give you less desirable outcasts. Now, that's okay. But you want to move beyond that, okay? These Novo pretend aristocracy relatives of yours and you know they give you a gift i mean shit <coughs> after a certain age you shouldn't have to give gifts okay so that's that's my advice to you no more garbage add rolex add one steel sports rolex a year that's what i would do just do it slowly no more Garbage brands. So that would be my advice. Okay, guys, that's the review today. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments, good, bad, or ugly. And, guys, I will see you in the next one. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I desperately need more paid reviews to keep me full-time on YouTube. Guys... Google Ads doesn't pay the bills. I need to get more paid reviews. Also, you can sponsor me on Patreon. And that really helps. Guys, like, subscribe, press the bell so you guys can smash that algorithm. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a rolex at retail it's futile please guys save your dignity keep some pride go to david sw i would highly recommend david sw david sw if you're in america and you're looking for a watch 
go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out whatshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands, new and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about whatshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out whatshopping.com. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it, and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want, and it keeps me going on YouTube. Because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area, and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>